What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. All right, guys, I want to talk about an idea I have had in terms of what can we do with the DEC in the DAO to help the ecosystem as it currently stands without making things worse. Now, if you know me, I, I've said this before, and I think Matt uh, has said the same thing. A, a lot of people are aligned. The DEC and the DAO, a lot of people consider to just be burned, right? I would love for it to be burned and to never, you know, never come back and haunt us again. But since we're not burning it right now, is there a way in which it could be somewhat helpful? And I'm looking at the market right now and thinking to myself, okay, here's here's where things can uh, here's here's where things can go. Now, before I even do anything, before I go any further, I just want to say that this is I'm I'm just bringing an idea. I'm not even fully sold on it yet. I'm just bringing this idea because it was something that was bouncing around my head, and I figured I'd put it out there, right, in a very raw form, uh, and see if somebody could take it and run with it or make it better, right? So the idea is basically this. I'll, I'm going to run through some numbers for the market. Right, and you can see here. If we look at the last 30 days, we've done about 345 thousand dollars USD in uh, in volume, and if you take two percent of that, right, two percent is what we burn as market fees. That comes out to about 230 dollars per day. Now, if you you know, depending on where the price of SPS is, my idea is. If we burn a significant, well, actually, it doesn't matter. Whatever we burn in terms of DEC for the market, I'm thinking the Dow should just have a daily buy of that DEC amount, selling that DEC for SPS. So what we're doing is we're swapping, we're putting SPS, I'm sorry, DEC back into circulation and we're locking up SPS, which is, in my opinion, exactly what we want to be doing, right? We want to have as little SPS out there as possible and we don't want to destroy the value of DEC and further dilute it. That's why I'm using what's happening in the marketplace as this kind of proxy where it's just like, okay, if the market burns X amount per day, right? Right now it's burning about $200, $230 per day in, in value for DEC. We could kind of just put that right back out there, right? Without making a huge impact. Yes, we'd be treading water from a DEC perspective just with the market, but we'd also be locking up 20,000 SPS per day, right? And maybe that might not seem like a lot, right? At the end of the year, it's what, six to 10 million based on whatever the prices are. Um, but it's, it is taking liquid SPS sitting out there and, and you know setting it aside. So not only is it helping our current situation without uh, and not hurting our current situation, it is also uh, future-proofing to a certain extent. And I know people are going to say, well, it is hurting our current situation because then you know it's going to take DEC even long longer to get to PEG. And sure, you're right. I, I, I'm not trying to take away from that, but I am trying to push the same thing that I talked about in like the SPS burning video yesterday where shouldn't we be trying to lock up as much SPS as we can while it's super low, right? Yesterday I was saying, should we burn as much SPS while it's low? Well, this is the same concept. We should be locking up as much SPS while it's a penny. Right? Um, if the goal is to get SPS much, much higher, we should be locking up as much as possible right now. And you get more bang for your buck with SPS at a dollar. Uh, sorry, with SPS at a penny than at two pennies, three, five, ten, or a dollar. Right? Whatever, whatever it is. So that's my thought right now. Now here's the thing: we would still be a net negative for DEC. Now understand this. Because you you would have the, the grain DEC LP that will be burning resources anytime somebody were to buy uh, Rebellion packs, right? And we're still having a trickling of sales here and there. That DEC, remember half of it goes to the DAO, the other half goes to the team, right? So there would still be DEC getting taken off the marketplace. So again, that DEC wouldn't be burned, but it's effectively being put into the DAO and out of circulation through the through through rebellion right anytime somebody pays for energy or whatever the case is there would still be other mechanisms where we could burn dec albeit we'd be slowing down dec getting back to peg but at the same time taking advantage of this really low price of sps and locking up a lot more of it at a rate that is cons uh, that at a rate that is exactly aligned with how much we're burning with the market, right? So it's just like the market activity is going to be the market activity. 
And we're just going to replace that DEC back into the ecosystem and buy SPS and lock that up. Right. And then every other mechanism that either burns DEC or locks it up in the DAO, that that doesn't get touched. So it's still a net negative in terms of like, you know, DEC being consumed overall. We're just adding back a little bit. Uh, and again, a little bit aligned with whatever the market uh, is, is uh, market volume is at. So if there's a high market activity, right, we could be locking up a lot of SPS. Yes, we'll be putting out a lot more DEC, but it's only because people are buying and selling a bunch of stuff. And so therefore, you know, there's there's more economic activity. We can kind of swap that out, take more SPS in over time and just create this, again, small loop that helps the token that we really need to help, which is SPS. And you know, kind of treads water with the token that is okay to tread water with, in my opinion, right? Like DEC is actually trading at about 800 Splintoshi. So it has gone up slightly. And maybe that's due to the, you know, the Bitcoin pump. We were back above uh, 70K today, which was great. So, you know, maybe it's that, but whatever the case is, we're still slowly going to get there. Um, and unless there's some major catalyst that's going to pop up now and get us back to peg right away, I think that this is a perfect time to take advantage of the low SPS price, lock up even more of it in the Dow for the future and just move forward from there. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Like I said, this is just much more of a raw idea. I'm not tied to it. Don't come at me and be like, yo, no, this is stupid, whatever. Like I said, it's it's imperfect, but I'm just trying to figure out ways in which the DAO can be a productive member of the economy rather than just sitting passively on assets right now that could be doing something to help spur the ecosystem. So that's all I have for you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Otherwise, I will catch you all in the next one and see you around the game. Take care.